What is up everybody? Hungry Cabigon here. Very excited. Feels like it's been a long time, but we've got a new set. Boom. Explosive Walker. Um, I just noticed something funny on this box. We got the Scent Scorch VMAX. Tyranitar is looking a bit worried, as you can see, but... Look at that little diglet. He is sweating. He does not want a piece of this at all. Um, so this is S2A, this set. Um, I don't really know what's good yet, uh, value-wise, because the set actually comes out tomorrow. Today is Thursday. Actually, they always release on Friday, so one day early, which is nice. Um, but let's see what we can get anyway. can get this open. So yeah, I really don't know what's going to be good, because when we get the sets early, don't really know the price. I know... Um, just from looking online, there's a few people selling the cards. You can kind of get a rough idea, but it's always overpriced because it's just, well, not even released yet, so... Nice box art. So, I think there's like Pokemon Breeder is pretty good. I don't, I'm not really sure though, we'll have to wait and see tomorrow once it officially comes out. Okay, let's get this box out of the way. How many cards are actually in this set? Uh, we'll see when we open some packs. Let's hope this set treats us better than the last one. Was not very good to me. <laughs> so, pack art, very nice. It's got the little diglet there. I like that a lot. Alright, let's open. Let's see what we can get. Feels like it's been a very long time since a new set, but I guess it hasn't. But, um... Just because the last set didn't treat me well, I've been waiting a long time. <laughs> Alright, so, what can we get in here? Let's see. I like that. It's cute. Oh yes, Kumia artwork. Always a favourite. like that a lot. And first pack, okay, we got Galarian Stunfisk. Looking very menacing. So, um, I'm gonna sleeve. Let's see what he does. So, I do have a bit of a list here on my phone, but, um, what is he, 200 HP, metal type, he's got an ability, metal, hudder, is that metal body? I'm guessing so. Um, so, metal skin, ah, uh, yeah, that makes sense. This Pokemon gets plus 20 HP for each metal energy attached to it, okay, that's pretty good. And then Trap Bite does 60 damage for two colorless. During your opponent's next turn, if this Pokemon is damaged by an attack, even if it's knocked out, put 12 damage counters on the attacking Pokemon. Okay. Not bad. Interesting artwork, too. Good start. Alright. So, obviously, lots of new cards. I haven't really read up a lot on, like, the trainers and stuff like that, so I'm interested to see what they, uh, what they have in store for us in this set. <laughs> Look at the Phoebus. I like that a lot. He looks so tiny in the artwork, and he's just struggling. Ooh, and a nice Dedene as well. Eating some mushrooms. Looks a bit suspicious. Centric looking good. And okay, we've got a Heat Energy. Um, so basically, if you attach this to a Fire Pokemon, it gets 20 extra HP. That's pretty crazy. It's going to be some beefy Charizards and stuff going forward. Charizard VMAX with a few of them on it. It's going to be a beefcake. Okay, we got Gramble. Oh, they look cute. Oh, there we go. There's the Diglett. In front of the Diglett Temple. I like that a lot. Alright, what do we got here? Ooh, Darkrai. Nice. Uh, okay, I like that artwork. Interesting looking. I dig it. I will go into more detail on uh, all the the normal cards as we go forward. You know, opening more. I don't want to take forever. Sweet looking card though. Darkrai always a, a favourite. <laughs> Just the tea. Just a cup of tea. I like it. Oh, okay. Luminous Maze Forest. Interesting name. 
So this is a stadium card, obviously. Let's see what it does. So what do they call it in? Huh? In English, Glimwood Tangle. But it's called Luminous Maze Forest in Japanese. Interesting. Um, okay, so. Huh. Oh no, sorry. Once during each player's turn, after they flip any coins, after they flip any coins for an attack, that player may ignore all effects of those coin flips and begin flipping those coins again. Okay. So, one of those uh, things that lets you reflip if you don't get the, the flips that you want for your attack. That's interesting. Could be potentially quite good, depending on what you're playing. Nice. Muck. Looking terrifying as always. Yeah, nice. Oh, okay, we got a VMAX. Butter free VMAX. Looking very radiant. There is a, um, a Gardevoir as well. I would really hope to get that. Very nice looking. 300 HP Butterfree. Kyodai Dokukaze. It's like poison wind. Uh, 150 damage and your opponent's Pokemon is poisoned and confused. Okay, it's pretty good. Pretty annoying to deal with. And looks nice too. Alright, so started off pretty good. But we all know it. it's the secret rare that we're looking for. That's what we want to see. So this is going to be one of those sets where like, every time I open it, I'm like looking at more closely at the artworks, like, ooh, I never noticed that one. Um, okay, so we've got Sokuri Bell, Sokuri Bell. What does Sokuri mean? I don't know. So, uh, look-alike bell, okay, in English. And this card um, says, search your deck for a Pokemon with the same name as one of your Pokemon in your discard pile, reveal it and put it in your hand. Okay, that's pretty good. Interesting. Got a nice, uh, just a silver bell. Looks good though. Okay. Oh, we got the, uh, what's his name? Fierro is that what it's called? I want to say like Pontiac Fierro. <laughs> Alright, what do we got? Oh, Doug Trio, looking good. Wishy washy boo. And we've got the uh, Corviknight, is that what it's called? And it's got a dude riding on the back. I didn't realize it was so big. He's a beast. Alright. What else are we talking? So like I said, I haven't really read up that much on this set. I looked at the, the SRs and stuff like that. Just to see what to expect. Ooh, Kabu. So I read this one and um, it's basically saying, what does it say? You shuffle, you shuffle your hand into your deck and then you can draw four cards from your, um, from your deck. But if you only have one Pokemon you get to, in play, like just your active, you get to draw eight. So interesting. So I guess for the start of the game, that's good. Probably ideally don't want to have only one Pokemon in play, but I guess depending on what kind of deck you're playing, that might be the strategy you're going for. I don't know. So, ooh, all right, we got Big Parasol. Um, if you attach this to your Pokemon, all right, no, I gotta read it. <laughs> There's some of these ones that have so much text. I'm just like, oh yeah, 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 but no, I don't understand. So Big Parasol. Um, to say, um, as long as this Pokemon, as the Pokemon this card is attached to is your active Pokemon, prevent all effects of your opponent's attacks except damage done to each of your Pokemon. Okay, that's pretty good. So, not going to get like poisoned, like by that, or confused by that Butterfree. That's pretty good. Ooh, I like that artwork. Pot Death. It's called in Japanese. Pot Death. Sounds. Sounds terrifying and cute at the same time. The teapot of death. Okay, let's go. <laughs> That's cute, I like that artwork. Oh, I like that one too. Lots of cool stuff in here so far. Alright, we 
we're getting close to halfway through. Oh, here we go. Pokemon Breeder. It actually has some more, right? Pokemon Breeder, you could say. Um, Pokemon Breeder's training, okay. And uh, this says, choose up to two of your Pokemon in play. For each Pokemon, search your deck for a card that evolves from that Pokemon and put it onto that Pokemon to evolve it. Okay, that's pretty good. That's really good. I like it. That's probably why the Secret Rare one was very expensive when I saw it. Seems very good. Oh, we got Melodic. We got a uh, Melodic V in the last set, and now we have Melodic just hollow. And it says you can heal 20 damage from all your Pokemon once a turn. That's pretty good. Melodic always looking nice. Like me some Feebas too. Like me my Magikarp and my Feebas. Alright, we have got... What's his name? Galar What's it called? Galarian... Mr. Rhyme, is that what it is? He looks pretty fancy. Alright, what have we got in here? We got a regular Butterfree V. So this one only 190. It's got Fuda Fuda Doku. So like something poison. Fuda Fuda. Your opponent's battle Pokemon is poisoned and confused. And then uh, Blast Wind does 130 damage for 3 energy. Okay. So the VMAX is obviously better because it does um, the damage and does like basically both of those two attacks combined, which is pretty good. 150 damage is not like mind blowing, but um, the confusion and the poisoning also, you know, adds up. Ooh, Boro no Pasukon, broken computer. I'm guessing that's what the translation is going to be because Boro means like broken down or worn out. Uh, let's see, old computer. Okay, so the translation is a little bit different. So it says flip two coins. If both the heads choose a card from your discard pile, reveal it and put it in your hand. Okay, mm. doesn't seem so exciting. I like it. it's got like the old school Pokedex, like from the Game Boy on the screen. Yeah, you have to flip two heads. I guess you can use that stadium and, and try again, but still, yeah, doesn't seem so good but you can get a card out of your discard, so that, you know, potentially is very good. But, yeah, that double coin flip, I don't like the sound of that at all. Okay, got something exciting in this pack, let's see. Ooh, all right, what are you called? It's called Otospas. Uh, I remember it had a weird name, like a kind of mouthful of a name. What was it again? Graplocked. Graplocked. Yeah, interesting name. So I guess he's like some kind of wrestling, <laughs> wrestling octopus. He does actually have the like Mexican wrestler looking mask. Um, so let's see what he does. It's got tight bind for one fighting does 20. If the opponent's Pokemon is a basic Pokemon, it can't attack during your opponent's next turn. Okay. And then Moon Salt Press 120 plus for two fighting and one colorless. Flip a coin if heads this attack does 100 more damage. Okay. And with that stadium, hmm, you know, 220 damage, not anything to sniff at. Not bad. Not bad. All right, let's put you there and let's get the last pack from this side. So we got four hits out of one side, so bodes well for the other side, hopefully. Got another one of these heat energies. I feel like that's a pretty good one. Probably get played quite a bit in a fire deck. We got a soul rock to finish the half. Okay. All right, second half. Let's go. Ooh. Jeez, butterfingers. See what we can do in the second half. Okay. Focus. There we go. All right, what are we talking? What are we talking? We got a Strinda, Strinda, uh, Toxtricity. He's been in like all the new sets so far. On the cover of the, well not the cover, the pack art of the last one. They're definitely pushing him. I guess he's reasonably popular, but 
the new ones kind of always, they, they push them, you know, like, this is like the, the one of the, you know, biggest new ones. All right, we've got um, Mysterious Can, I think it's called. So basically it says if you play this, you get 80 Pokemon healed, 80 Pokemon, 80 health healed, um, but that Pokemon has to be psychic has to have psychic energy attached to it and the psychic energy, one psychic energy has to go in the discard and says if you don't have any psychic energy you can't use it. So interesting, healing with psychic energy and if you're playing like a Malamar deck you can just put the energy back so that's pretty good, you can get it straight back. Alright we got Kabu again, I'm guessing he's got a different English name because they always do but I'm going to go with the Japanese one because that's what it says on the card. Okay, so not much coming out of this side yet, but we know our SR is in here somewhere. Okay, um, what is this again? Pot death, that's right. <laughs> and that's Yabacha, so Yabai is like kind of dangerous and Cha is tea, so it's like dangerous tea. I like it. Oh, we got Tyranitar, there he is. Well, we can do 250, so 4 energy, and it can do 250 damage, mountain swing, but you have to discard the top 5 cards of your deck, okay, interesting, that is interesting, I feel like, um, you know, that's a reasonable price to pay for 250 damage, like that's hitting pretty hard, but stage 2 obviously. We got the Boto Pasacon again. Phoebus, yes. Okay. So, after I said it bodes well for this side of the pack, nothing's happening so far. Where's all the pulls? Let's see. What? That's weird. What the? Double of a V? Unusual. Very unusual. I was gonna say as well, there is a, um, a gold Rillaboom card in this set. It's not the V one, it's the, the regular uh, hollow one as a gold card in this set, so wouldn't mind seeing that. Haven't pulled any of those ones yet, except for the Zamazenta gold card, I did get that, but haven't seen any of the other ones yet. That's weird getting two of the same card in one box. Highly unusual. Not that it never happened before, but that's strange. Alright, we got the mysterious can again. Alright, what are we talking here? Galissapod, nice artwork. Actually, a lot of the Galissapod artworks are pretty sweet. But yeah, this side has been very light on. Hoping that there's still some more good stuff in here. We should usually get a couple of VMAXs. I hope we get that Gardevoir one. I really want to see what that looks like. I mean, this is not the last time we'll be opening this, don't get me wrong, but it's uh. Wouldn't mind seeing it though. Alright, we got the what is it? Luminous Maze Forest again. I feel like that's a pretty good stadium. Oh we got Heatran. Didn't even know you're in the set, Heatran. Looks nice and shiny though. What is happening on this side? We've got one one pool so far. I feel like we're owed at least a couple more things. Because we've only got what, one, two, three, four, five so far. Should get like seven or eight, generally. Oh, okay, we got the uh, Centiscorch VMAX, so we didn't get the Gardevoir that I wanted to see, boo. Let's have a look what he does. Looks very cool, actually. I mean, he's the guy on the pack, so I guess we should be happy to get that. Um, 
Okay, so he, what has he got? 320 HP, geez. They're getting beefy. And what does he do? Um, Center Scorch VMAX, let's see. So, says, excuse me, GMAX Centiferno. Okay, that's an interesting name in English. Uh, 40 plus for two colors. This attack does 40 more damage for each fire energy attached to this Pokemon. You may attach, then you may attach a fire energy from your discard pile to this Pokemon. Okay. So it can accelerate itself. And um, if you're playing those heat energies as well, you can beef him up. Interesting. Okay. So they're leaving us in suspense till the end. I really hope that we can see that gold card. Oh, my phone's ringing. Excuse that. Don't don't listen to that. <laughs> I can just hear it vibrating in my pocket, which is uh, sounds sounds suspicious. All right, what are we talking here? Let's go. All right, we got a Center Scorch. No Gardevoir so far. So. Okay, so this side of the box, they're much closer together. All right, let's see what this Center Scorch does. So he's got uh, only 210 HP. Um, first damage, first attack does 20 damage. Netsu Hosho. Netsu means like fever or something. I know that means fever if you're sick, Netsu. Um, so let's see what he does. So, heat radiation, 20 damage for one fire. You may discard an energy from this Pokemon. If you do discard an energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon, okay. And then it's got burning train for four fire, does 180 damage, okay. Not bad. So we did pick it up um, on the Vs, we got five. It's weird that we got two of the same, I wanted to see Gardevoir. Now, Secret Rare is totally gonna be in the last pack, isn't it? That's pretty good. How did we uh, swing that? So if you bought those like few packs at the bottom, you'd be doing well. You got like a bunch of hits in quick succession. All right, what are we talking? What's it gonna be? I wanna see that gold Rillaboom of the Pokemon breeder training, either or. All right, we got heat energy. It's good. All right, let's see what it's gonna be. Oh, okay, interesting. That looks awesome. I didn't even know that Vikavolt was in the set because we haven't seen it yet. So there's at least two GXs we didn't see, Vikavolt and That's pretty intense looking. I do like the look of that, actually. I don't know if this is uh, gonna be a, a good one or not. Let's see what he's got. All right, uh, Paralyze Bolt, two energy, 50 damage, and then, um, hold on, let me just confirm, because I don't want to mislead you. So, he does Paralyzing Bolt for 50. Um, your opponent can't play any item cards from their hand during the next turn. Okay, that's pretty annoying and good. <laughs> and then Super Zap Cannon does... 190 damage for three energy is not bad, but discard two energy from this Pokemon. Okay. It looks sweet. I definitely like this more than the uh, the old GX Sun and Moon uh, Full Arts. Look at the colors on that. It's intense. I do like that a lot. Okay, so um, that's the first box. I don't know if we did good or not, <laughs> because we don't know the price of any of the cards yet. But we did get a lot of stuff, though, to... for six, eight hits. It's pretty good. Um, weird that we got doubles though. We didn't see the Vikavolt regular GX and we didn't see the Gardevoir at all. Which is kind of a shame because I wanted to see, especially the VMAX looks very cool. All right, so quick recap of what we got. Got our uh, hollows here. As always, you get a bunch of hollows. But not as many as you used to get, because they definitely have um, increased the number of hits that you get. So, what's that? Seven? Seven hollows? Yeah. 
All right, we got Scent Scorch V, we've got Grap, what is it called? Grap Doc or something like that. Uh, v, we got Galarian Stunfisk times two for some reason. I don't know why that happened. We got a Butterfree V, we got the Scent Scorch V Max, we got the Butterfree V Max, and then we also got Vicavolt V Full Art, which I think looks pretty sweet, honestly. Don't know, again, if it's a good one or not. We'll see. But anyway, that's the first box, guys. Let me know what you think. What do you like? What do you think is going to be good in this set? Um, look forward to more of this. This is just the, the first box. There'll be plenty more. Don't worry. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. Check out the channel for more videos. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you in the next one. Take it easy.